One day when I was a kid, I was chilling the couch when I saw a rat. Then Mia Vo showed up and said we were having a mice problem. She told me a cat would be a good solution for that. But I didn't want a cat. I was more of a dog person. My dog had passed away and I missed him. But I was still looking forward to having a new one. I asked Mia Vo for a new dog, but she said, no dogs, we need a cat. I kept insisting, but she kept saying no. Then she said, you have imaginary friend, don't you? Why don't you have imaginary dog then? Hmm, that was actually a really good idea. I remember that one night I had a dream about my other self having a dog in his house. It's in my previous video if you haven't watched it yet. So I called my other self and told him I wanted to meet his dog. He showed up and told me I was not ready to understand him yet. And before I could argue, he disappeared. Well, that sucks. But if he's my other self, then his dog is also mine, which means I have the rights to go see him, especially if he lives inside myself. Then one night, when I had a lucid dream, I went on a quest to find the dog. Maybe there was a connection between me and our dog that would let me find him. And seconds later, I found one. But hold on, that was not the one I was looking for. So I found you. What? A talking dog? So I asked, who are you? And he was like, you ruined my life. So I told him that pretty sure he was confusing me with someone else. No, it's you. Yes, it's you. How could I do that? I'm only 13. You left me to die, murderer. Yeah, that made no sense. Wrong person, bro. <laughs> Ow, I woke up immediately. I can't believe he bit me. Dreams are weird sometimes. Later during the day, I noticed across the street a dog barking at me. It was probably just a coincidence. But I had to double check with my other self. He said the dog from my dreams would not let me have peace. And if I didn't want to get hunted again, I should go fix this. So I asked how can I fix it? But he disappeared. Oh man, he always do that when I ask questions. He's so question phobic. He reminds me of someone I saw in a cartoon once. Anyways, I didn't want to be hunted by a talking dog, so I had to find a solution. One night I saw him in my dreams and asked him to go away. He said he had nowhere to go. I told him I didn't want to be hunted, but he was like, You deserve it. You a horrible person. Hey, I'm not a horrible person. Horrible. <sighs> Whoever invented the alarm clock is probably the most evil person in human history. During the day I was reflecting on what the dog had said, and I took the conclusion that he was not like the hunting type, like the one from my first video. He was just angry at someone that he thought it was me. But hey, since I was looking for a dream dog companion, maybe I could adopt him. One night when he came, I told him I wanted to adopt him. For the first time, he didn't look at me with anger, but he still didn't believe me. I'm serious about it, I said. We kept staring at each other in silence. Then I continued. I would even adopt you in my real life if you were a real dog. And he was still quiet. It was getting awkward and I wanted to break the ice. Uh, do you? Want a hug? So he approached me, but he was different. He was just like a normal dog then. I woke up and after that day I never saw him again, which made me sad because I couldn't keep him as my dream dog. Days later, my other self showed up in a lucid dream and he had a dog with him. It was the dog I had seen at his house. I was happy to see him and he looked happy to see me. Then he started speaking and telling me stories about how nice I was with him when I used to take him to the park. But he was probably confusing me with my other self since we have the same appearance. A few months later, I was walking back from school when I saw a baby cat in the street. The poor thing was very skinny, it had probably not eaten for days. I didn't want a cat, but I couldn't leave it there. Mia Val was happy I rescued him because she still had the mice problem, which he did solve it, but he didn't leave for too long. The night he died, I had a lucid dream. Someone showed up and said, Hello. I'm a messenger. I came to inform you that your debt with the dog has been paid. He's with us now. And I was like, what are you talking about? Uh, another question phobic. One more thing. If one day you grow up and use your creative energy to share your stories, don't show my face. Use one from your planet. Any animal head should be fine. 
What the f that's it, thanks for watching my video. In my next video, I talk about the day I created an intelligent being. So make sure you subscribe to not miss that story. Subscribers help me to know if people are interested in my videos. Please help me promote this video by leaving a like and a comment. Thanks, bye!